Okay, this is going to be a short tutorial on um, setting up the similar but different website. So the task five similar but different. So I'm using the example of a, a website for a band called Music Mayhem. Uh, this is the index page or index.html, the home page. Uh, it doesn't look very pretty but don't worry about it. I'm trying to follow the rules or follow the uh, restrictions that OCR want for the actual structured task. Uh, and so this is basically to teach you techniques. It's not teaching you good website design. Uh, so we're on the home page. If I click on music news, I get the second page comes up. Click on fanzine, I get a third page. Uh, I won't go into this one because it just take up time, but that takes us to the new Musical Express external website page. So we basically have a website of three interlinked pages. You can hyperlink between them. Let's have a look at the actual structured task of task 5. So first of all I've already created the folders and that's what you need to do. So um, on your home drive you create up these ones. Task 5 SBD, this one here. That's your root folder, HTML templates and images. And you also need to create your site in Dreamweaver before doing this. The instructions are in the similar but different. So if I click over to my version of Dreamweaver uh, you can see in the right hand corner here that I have the root folder set up and within it I've got three other folders images templates and HTML uh, just very briefly I've actually copied all the images that I'm going to use in my website already into the images folder just saves time later um, as we we'll see there's nothing else created at the moment so let's kick off so the task says after we've created a Dreamweaver site, we need to set up something called a Dreamweaver template page. It's not an HTML page, basically the, the template page is a page that covers things like this sidebar, all the links will be in there, the logo, and it sets up the standard layout for headings and the size of the fonts. So a template page, if you like, is a, an outline uh, of what your web page will be looked at. Once you've created the template, all you need to do in Dreamweaver is just copy in the content, copy in the text and the images into it, and that creates the actual HTML page. So we do most of the work actually working in the template page. So let's set up one of those. So to create the template, I do File, New. Uh, I'm on a blank page, but this time instead of creating a HTML page, I'm going to create a HTML template everything else we do now is the same as creating an HTML page so I'm going to pick a standard layout two column fix left sidebar is what we need for this particular task I need to create for the CSS I want to create an external file so make sure your option create new file is clicked on here when I press create a pop-up appears and what this is this is actually saving the CSS file it's not saving the template page we haven't even created it yet you don't need to change the name of the C CSS file, but I'm going to call it Task uh, 5 SBD CSS, so I know basically it's the CSS for this website, you don't need to. And if I press Save, first off I get the standard layout that's given me by Dreamweaver, so I've got the sidebar created, it's in the right position. So I already put in some H1 headings, H2 headings, and it's given me this default text, normal text, just to show me what the page would look like. And if you look in the right hand side, interesting enough, you've got this CSS file. Now that's what we just created at the beginning and that's sitting in the root folder so that's fine. Now what we're going to do is start formatting the template page. So let's have a look at uh, what we need to do next. So we've created our Dreamweaver template page, we've saved our CSS file, we've got this now what we need to do is change or edit the CSS rules for our page we need to change the rules so the page looks like the way we want first thing it says is change overall page width let's have a look at where we change these rules first if you click on Dreamweaver now if it's not showing click on Windows and make sure that the blue tick as I've got here CSS styles is ticked sorry there you go and what that is is you should get a window in the right hand side um, and the panel is CSS styles so this is all the styles that are associated with this particular web page 
uh, all the styles and the formatting and this is what we need to change first one we're going to change is the overall page width that's actually contained in the style called container so the container in Dreamweaver is the overall page in other words the complete page and everything in it if I click on container on this right hand side I can either double click on it or click on this button here and it comes up with a pop up window which allows me to change all of the CSS rules that apply to this particular label container and I know that I need to go into the box rule because I'm going to change the width width of the page is now going to be 1050 pixels so that's correct the other instruction on here is set all borders to zero that's the only other thing we need to do there so let's click back click on border um, so we don't want a border at all should be should what it actually says and just to play safe we set that to zero as well that's it press OK um, I won't display it yet because as I say this is a template page not an HTML page so you can't display it in the browser as a template page but you can actually see that the page was extended let's quickly look at some of the other things we need to change the navigation sidebar so we've got background color needs to be dark blue all padding needs to be zero click back into the Dreamweaver this is the sidebar the navigation sidebar this is where we're going to put the hyperlinks so I want to change the CSS styling for this sidebar so I go to the right hand side here click on the two column fix the sidebar indicator here click on the edit rule uh, background color fortunately it's already on there so I want to make that dark blue uh, I forgot what else I need to change my memory is going uh, sidebar background color dark blue all the padding equals zero so we don't have to change much on this one so if I go to box again you can see that there's quite a bit of padding on there padding is the bit that goes between the content and the outside of the sidebar in other words we don't want any padding make it zero here and if you click zero here and if you click there it's all set to zero that looks okay press okay okay at the moment we've got the sidebar is blue I don't need that text I'll just get rid of it for the moment I've got the width set correctly for the whole page the one thing I haven't changed is this area here it's called the main content let's have a look what we've got to do with that so select the rule main content the width's got to be 850 pixels padding 0 margin left 200 let's look and see where we can find those so I go to the right hand side, I click on main content, so edit the rule, uh, go to the box where I'm here, change the width to 850 pixels, padding needs to be zero, so it's all zeros down there now. Uh, let's just check what that margin needs to be again. The margin, left margin needs to be 200 pixels. So if I change that to 200, and if I do OK, we've literally finished most of the styling rules we need to do so we've done the sidebar the whole page and this main content area got the right sizes a couple other things we need to do uh, the body rule let's do that quickly so we need to make what we're doing is changing the default font size for normal text it's in the body CSS rule if I click here again look for body there you go click here and we click on type because we're changing the way the text looks so we just want the font to be Arial the size was 12 point if I remember 12 point there's lots of different types of sizes color was black and it's black anyway as you can see this is called the normal text here so that as this normal text has changed to 12 point and Arial we're going to create some more CSS rules um, and what we're going to do is look at that in the next tutorial it's a slightly different approach so let's finish doing all the work we need to do for this one